how's it going YouTube? This is Thaw here from Mid-Atlantic 6 Scale. I've had quite a few requests uh, on how I do weathering on my figures. Uh, take this subject here. This is a quick bash that I did. Um, he's going to be a bar gunner, U.S. bar gunner. You can see there's all kinds of pouches, everything. This is all uh, brand new clothing. Uh, everything's just kind of out of the box so to speak when I bash this figure and uh, I'm going to weather him up here and uh, explain how I do it again like with all my other videos um, this isn't necessarily the only way this is just the way I do things and uh, what works best for me but we'll go through a series of items and, and different things I use uh, to start off with, we're going to need some kind of mixing cup, a uh, baby food jar, old pickle jar, Dixie cup, anything you want to use. I just use these little mixing cups. Um, I use pastel chalk. Um, you can get these anywhere, Walmart, craft stores, you name it. Um, they're roughly five to ten dollars depending on the set this is an assorted set um, all different colors so you can blend mix get all your shading and everything um, i do like to use the pastels chalks things like that um, it's just a lot easier to blend and also i use the trusty denatured alcohol um, again you can get this any hardware store um, you can use rubbing alcohol and I'll tell you the reason I use the alcohol versus just water or anything it dries faster and it it breaks the the surface tension of the material you're working with a lot quicker um, so I use the alcohol a couple of paint brushes uh, we're gonna use some big fat bristle brush just to cover mass area fairly firm brush a um, couple of smaller brushes you know something with a chisel point that you can get in and uh, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up but just something that you can get into finer details but yet lay down a heavy wash and just another soft big bristle brush for blending uh, very soft fibers all right, let's get started. <clears throat> okay, the first thing I want to do is get some of the denatured alcohol, rubbing alcohol, water, whatever you prefer to use. I put a little bit of this in this uh, cup here for mixing and blending things. Um, like I say, it's your choice, whatever you want to use. Uh, I'm going to try to do this video kind of quick so that uh, I can just get through the basic steps and allow you to kind of play with it on your own and master what you like and don't like. Trusty paper towels. Alright, to start off with we'll just use this soft uh, long hair brush. What we want to do when when you're, you're weathering your figure you want to decide first and foremost where did he see action in the battle you know if he's in the deserts of you know North Africa or in the jungles of Vietnam or you know the beaches of Iwo Jima it's going to determine the type of weathering you don't want <clears throat> mud slung all over this guy if he's in North Africa because it's sand so common sense tells you uh, the next thing I want to talk about quick is <clears throat> weathering location. Obviously, anywhere on the figure that's touched um, the pouches, uh, every time you get your ammo in and out, um, the cuffs around the sleeves, every time your hands touch the ground, around the collar and the neck, um, down the front of the chest, under the armpits, the back of the elbows, again the entire cuff, um, sweat lines down the center of his back, a big big wet sweat line there, 
uh, the seat of his pants. I don't know many soldiers that have a comfy cushion couch. They're usually sitting in the dirt, so you want to get the butt nice and wet. Down around the legs where when you're walking or trudging through the mud or whatever else, uh, the heel when you take a step comes up and rubs against the blousing of the pants and the inside of the legs so you want to make sure you get all that we'll go through each thing step by step here but like I say I want to do this quick uh, just to give you guys an idea of what I what I use all right we'll pop his helmet off here first get that out of the way I like to start at the top of the figure and work my way down just like sweat as the sweat works and then I work the mud and dirt from the bottom up. So we'll start off with the uh, denatured alcohol here. I'm going to try to keep everything in frame so you guys can see. It's going to be a little tough, but okay, I just take that big brush and the denatured alcohol there, get it nice and wet. Um, again, you can use rubbing alcohol, water, whatever you prefer. I'm going to start off around the collar and I'm just going to get it nice and wet so when I apply the chalks it's already broken down. So we're going to get around his neck nice and juiced up and dirty there. Down the front of his shirt collar and already you can see the color just because it's wet. Um, you'll see how all this will blend once we get started around the back uh, on the back of him here he's got a lot of sweat going on and grime and dirt we're just gonna get all this wet I don't know how well the camera's picking that up but you may be able to see uh, around the bottom in the armpits I'm gonna get those armpits nice and wet so they get stained up good the elbows get the back of the elbows and of course like I said around the entire collar and cuffs of the uniform alright now that he's nice and wet with the alcohol or whatever you're using there what I do I take my brush I go in the alcohol it's got a little bit splashed here I'll clean up I go in the alcohol and I pick a nice dark dirty color to start with because with pastels and chalks you want to start dark and lighten your way up each layer. So I'm going to get the brush wet, I'm going to come into this dark gray and just get it nice and wet and load the brush up with it. I just rub it right on there and slosh it around until it softens up and I'll grab some of this dark brown. Now again, this stuff dries really fast, so you got to work quick. Now with it loaded on the brush, I just come in and start dabbing and uh, blend all that together. If it's easier for you, sometimes guys, once they get it wet, they'll take the actual chalk stick itself and just kind of come in and let's start getting this guy dirty like he's been doing something in this war. You can't overdo it because it is chalk. You can always come back and wash it off or get the back of that elbow good. Under the armpits, you want some staining. Like I say, you don't have to be pretty with this. It's dirt, it's weathering, it's the guy's been in the war. You just want it to look natural. Um, I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but hopefully uh, we'll get a good visual here that you'll be able to see the chalks being applied here. You can't overdo it, guys. Like I say, it's pastel, so it'll wipe off uh, once you're ready to get it. the pockets here. You know, I like to get down in them pockets a little bit, too down the front of the buttons, around the collar of the neck. Alright, now you can see he's got uh, some discoloration going on. Now I'll go back, I'll grab that gray and kind of stroke over and blend and smooth some of that. 
That way he don't look like he just rolled in one color dirt. Go around the cuffs, the elbows, along the back of the pants, the back of the neck. You basically just want to get those chalks all over and then we'll blend the colors once we get everything loaded on the figure. Under the armpits, all the pouches here. Get the canteen. All right, so now we go back to the brush. I'll go ahead and everything that's on there, I'll wash it down in a direction and thin it. Just kind of thin it out and let it soak into the, the material. Like I say, this alcohol will take a lot less time to dry than water or rubbing alcohol, but either way it'll all work. And again, you just go over everything you just put chalk on and just kind of blend it all together and until you get a nice smooth, dirty look. I'm going to continue just blending this and when I get back I will go over the pants and work on the boots and all that stuff next. Alrighty. Alright guys, as you can see I've got the jacket pretty much finished up. Um, front to back, elbows, around the cuffs, down the back of the neck. It's going to take a couple of minutes to dry. Uh, once I apply all the color I just go back into the straight alcohol solution or whatever you're using and just kind of blend everything in. Just a quick blend um, so there's no hard lines. You want everything grungy and stained not like he just walked in to a dirt hole all right we'll move on to the pants now again um, like the jacket in the upper part of the body the lower part of the body um, think of where you know he sits where where his knees rub or the seat of his pants down the side of his legs if he's you know, wiping his hands a lot because of grease on the machine gun or the tank or whatever he's doing. So we'll go ahead and uh, do the pants uh, the same way we did the top. Just wet everything down where you're going to be weathering and uh, it breaks the surface tension. Um, I just kind of wet down the general areas that I'm going to be working and apply the pastels and let them dry. And once everything is completely dry, um, if you're using denatured alcohol, even if you're soaking it like I do, it's usually dry within an hour or two. Um, get really good in the seat of the pants here where he's been sitting, a little pocket on the back, anywhere his hands have been touching, um, behind the knees where he's sweating or whatever's going on there. Uh, and again around the cuff of the pants, down the side here where his hands are touching. You can pretty much see the areas I'm getting wet, what I'm going to be weathering. Um, so I'm going to finish up the pants and I'll be right back. Uh, just real quick, I'll do it with the chalk. Uh, i just pick it up instead of making a, you know, a wash. I'll just use it, just kind of work it over the butt area, behind the knees, around the, the legs, on the side. Just kind of lightly scuff everything as if he's been out, you know, working that mud in the trenches. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, you can see here he's just about dry now. Um, you can see the, the weathering in the elbows and the back of the legs. Uh, once it starts to dry, I just kind of take my thumb and rub over everything, blend all the colors so it looks more natural. Um, just rub over. Like you see, he's a bar gunner, um, right-handed, so he's got a little more dirt up around the shoulder here from, you know, shouldering the rifle and taking it down, laying it, picking it up. 
just think about the surroundings where like I say where he's at what he's doing you know the colors you choose are gonna obviously you know have a, a big outcome on on the final look but uh, as he's drying up I just kind of take my thumb and work over and blend everything in just like you would if you were in the field you know you'd be wiping your hands and smoothing it all in um, we're gonna get to the boots next um, there's a million and one ways to weather boots uh, I found one of the easiest ways uh, is to mix a little bit of tan and a little bit of brown paint uh, with the denatured alcohol and just make like a wash uh, and we'll get some here quick and I'll just do do the boots quick and show you um, just take a splash of tan and a splash of brown and uh, just make a real runny wash spread it over the entire boot let me get a little more alcohol in the cup here I use this stuff for everything on these figures it's so easy to work with it's cheap it dries really fast um, we'll take a soft bristle brush we'll grab a splash of the brown here I'm just using Tamaya flat brown you can use whatever colors you like it's it's your you know it's your baby and I'll grab just a splash of the tan out of here just a little bit on the end of the brush there I don't know how well you can see it um, mix those two together just to get a dirt color dry dirt color then I dip straight into the denatured alcohol and just make a wash you can see it's just a muddy brown just a muddy color and what I do I, it's real runny I mean the consistency of water I'll just brush over the entire boot just paint the entire boot every single part the laces the bottom I paint all of it just uh, slop it on because you know you'd be marching through the mud or whatever else anyway it's not going to be pretty it's going to be slopped on all right then I'll let that dry for a minute um, after it dries I will go back and highlight with dry brushing technique and I'll show you that as soon as the boots dry alright guys the boots are dry now um, the little wash we did with the tan and the brown basically just gives it a flat or matte finish so they're not as shiny once they're dry and just to give you a quick demonstration on dry brushing take a nice stiff brush a dry brush don't use a soft bristle you need something really hard and stiff I just dip it in the paint get it all loaded full of paint and then I take it on the paper towel and I basically wipe all that paint back off so it's almost dry and then I just lightly very very lightly drag over to highlight I don't know how well the camera will pick this up you just lightly drag over and highlight some of those areas again once this is dry it will add that matte finish look uh, and it will also highlight all the high areas um, I do the entire boot uh, shoelaces the heel the sole anywhere that's going to have a highlighted area you can see I haven't gone back to the paint or anything I just still have that little bit left on there and just by rubbing over it highlights all those high areas all 
All right, I'll get back to the paint one more time here because I am drying up. Just load it up and just wipe it off. You want it pretty dry. Okay, I've got that dust covered dirt look all over the boots there. I hope it's showing up on the camera, I'm not sure. All right, guys, got everything uh, about finished up here. Just a quick, quick shot. Again, I don't know how well the camera picks all this up. Um, I'm going to shoot some before and after pictures and post them here at the end of the video. I hope this helps someone out. Um, please subscribe if you have any questions. Shoot me a private message or whatever they call it on YouTube and uh, I'll try to answer it the best I can. And good luck with your, uh, your weathering and your figures and make sure you post up some pictures and videos and show us how you're doing. Alright YouTube, see you later.